I'm going to head to the nether and see what happens. Sweet, I found my tunnel. <laughs> I'm gonna die, there's no possible way. I almost wanna build a portal here and then reset my spawn. I just don't have any obsidian. Round one. the hard part now I literally I don't have any backup gear to get back there I have gear enough to I have gear to get back there it's just not well it would be entertaining not gonna help that axe will help leather boots I am so dead no way I have, I have iron I have tons of iron I'll make a fresh set of iron round two Yes, it was. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes.
Well, that was some kind of a start. This has already been an insane episode and it just started. Welcome back to my RTX solo world. And we are going to hopefully do some pretty cool building. Maybe the first actual um, RTX related content, ironically, uh, in this world. We haven't had any yet because honestly, you can't do much until you get the beginning stuff out of the way. So that stuff's out of the way. Uh, as you just saw, I made it through the nether, got nether wart, and we are continuing with villagers and upgrading our gear so we can actually uh, progress and get some cool blocks and start building. So I have something really cool to show you guys today, uh, moving forward and just trying to be original and give you content that you haven't seen before, because if you've seen one Minecraft video, you've seen about a million. So what we're going to do uh, right now is switch into uh, my iPad and I am going to show you a, well, let me show you this first. That way you have context. Okay, over here on this island, we have the beginning of the planning of the actual world we're going to do. So here are four maps stitched together. So give you some context. What I'm going to do to begin this episode is we are going to plan this whole thing out. So I have some pretty cool technology. I have four maps here stitched together. This is a little island next to our base. And we are going to switch into my iPad view so I can draw on this map and we can plan together. What I want to do is come out of our map farm. I started it right here with this. Come over here like that. Continue across this way. Oh, that's an orange. And then we'll make our way here and have our first build like right there at those geodes. As we're building in these geodes, these three are going to be growing, I should say, shards, so we can use that. Okay, bringing you guys back in, and we have some progress. So as you saw in that drawing, um, the paths are laid out, at least in my mind, and on that picture, and I went ahead and cleared a path, cutting down some trees, doing pathing, and I even did a proof of concept of what I'd like this to look like. So let's check it out. So as you can see, we have a different theme going on. We are moving out of the starter base area where it's oak and cobble and stone and kind of rustic. And we're starting to move into more, I wouldn't call it modern. I just call it regular um, construction style. So uh, this is a street light kind of design, simple, but... I don't know, it made me think of a coastal town or a port town. Basically, andesite, dark um, dark oak, and a redstone lamp. A little bit of dust up there, and the switch here to turn it on and off. I kind of like it. We have polished andesite as kind of the curb, and then dark oak planks as the concept. I haven't got very far with this, but uh, we... I have to do a lot more grinding with the wood, but here's what it looks like, and it goes on and on. Let's see uh, how far it goes here. Pretty much laid it out um, as the picture. Sorry, this is a little dugout ready for the wood. Up here, it becomes just path. We do have to make this bridge in a bit, so that'll be something. Maybe we'll do that together in the episode. I haven't actually built anything with you guys. Kind of skipped ahead. Uh, maybe we'll actually slow build that one together. So moving up here, you can see the street lights continue. Um, if you can envision that picture, maybe I could even cut back to it. We're about to approach the uh, other bridge and then off in the distance, you can see, oh, I think I lost my spyglass in the nether. Off in the distance, you can see our geode pillars. Um, but I want to take the time right now to show you something. Let's look at these streetlights and this path in general. It is important when you're building a Minecraft, if you want it to be interesting and if you want it to, uh, look aesthetically pleasing, but also just realistic, make your paths. Morning with Leroy, it's time to learn, so get ready to learn, yeah! 
Oh yeah. Okay, okay, quiet down class, quiet down again. It's time for another lesson. Oh, it looks like we have a new student. Please turn around. I'm talking to you. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm not sure what his problem is. Moving on, we have a new lesson, and it is going to be on this movie screen right here. So please pay attention. Unfortunately, it is not on video cassette tape. Our machine broke. We will be displaying this one on a reel to reel. So good news, you get real film today. Enjoy the lesson. Roll it. Hello and good evening. My name is Don Charlestonson and I am a civil engineer and I want to teach you something about path making. This is a path you don't want to make. Look at it. Don't do this. This is pleasing to the eye now. And notice this path. It is perfect. Changing elevation, turning this way and that, keeping your eyes. Please. Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, another segment of learning with Leroy. Um, it is uh, funny, but it is true. When you make paths around your world, um, your first instinct may be to connect the dots uh, the fastest way you can. And that's usually a straight line. And it's usually um, digging through a hillside so you don't have to uh, do a lot of things. In essence, you instinctually want to make the path of least resistance it is counterintuitive when you're building and planning um, a world and the reason is it's just not appealing to your eye it doesn't inspire you to um, build it doesn't it doesn't play off the landscape let's just look at this for a second so when you're making a path you work with the landscape instead of blow right through it and then the path becomes part of the landscape and it looks good and it becomes uh, something that adds to it instead of subtracts. So that's the lesson here. I hope that you, you guys appreciated the extra editing though. It's super fun. So that might be uh, one of the most fun things that I am doing right now. So appreciate the view and any support. If you like uh, learning with Leroy, leave a uh, comment down below and just uh, let me know what, if you think it's funny or if, if you like it or if you have a good idea for it, uh, let me know. Anyways, I got sidetracked. I don't think we're going to get to the bridge here. Uh, that is the only thing I have left. Uh, I did get the pathing all the way over here and I got sidetracked because kind of playing off the last episode with efficiency this is where we are going to have our first major build. And so while we're doing it, I thought it would be a good idea to have our geode farms going. Um, they take a long time to grow and then also they're a pain to collect. So we're going to go down there and I'm going to show you what I did. Okay. Uh, this is actually uh, really cool in RTX. So we have our first geode. It's at the lowest, lowest level. And how we harvest these, we uh, dig out all the mature buds. And when I'm not going to do the full uh, farm harvest now with you guys because it would take a long time. And plus there's three of these. So let's just drop these off. So once we have them, we're going to come back over here. Let's see. And drop them in our bubble column. In RTX, they don't show up until you get up in there. And I don't want to get in there because it'll shoot me up. So anyways, all you do is basically walk up to it and drop the stack. And they will be uh, deposited in the chest. So that's the first geo. Other two are at the next level up and we can get to it from the bubble elevator or the scaffolding in the mines. I have to light this up. Oh, no, I might die. Oh. Slime. 
I think I'm going to do this the safe way. I think we'll go up the bubbles and then back down. And go back down. And through. Sweet. So here is the one geode, and then the other one is right here. So in this exact place, we have three. Um, the two here and then the one down low. And all of them are connected by the bubble columns into the sorter or into the uh, storage. So while I'll be building the um, first major build up there, we'll be able to get tons of shards and collect them, store them, and use them for future plans. So that is going to wrap it up here today as the sun sets. I hope you can see where we're headed. In the next episode, we will be building. Um, in this beautiful plot, probably the best um, plot of the area. And I am so excited to check it out and for you to join me. It is going to be, um, as you may have seen, themed in like a port style. Uh, this building in particular is going to be brick. So I do have some resources starting to gather um, here trading with villagers. And... Yeah, this is going to be amazing. We're going to be spending a lot of time out here. So building up this area um, in this coastal region. And so in the next episode, what we'll do is plot out all of our future builds using the map that we made and the map, map that I hinted to already. And we will hopefully finish this first one right here. Maybe I'll actually get some diamond boots. But with that being said, thank you so much for stopping in. Thanks for checking this video out. I appreciate your support and I'll check you on the next one.